Hey everybody, today I'm taking a look at the Tayakia Mini Bike Pump. So let's go ahead, open this up, see what comes with it, and I'll show you how to install it on your bike. So in the package, you're gonna get your user manual, a set of mounting hex screws, and then you also will receive the bike pump itself and the carrier. What I think is really cool about the bike pump and carrier here is this is obviously where you're going to mount it into the water bottle rack on the bike, but it does have this nice little Velcro strap to keep it attached to the carrier. And when you pull it out, you'll see all of the other accessories are stored in here. So you have your hose that attaches to the bike pump itself, and then all your little mini accessories are stored down here. These will be the attachments that you use for ball pump, uh, some kind of pool inflator, that type of thing. And then there's also the little adapter valves in there too. On the air hose side, you're gonna have two different colors, a red and a black right here. So the red one is gonna be for your Presta valves and the black is gonna be for the Schrader valves. So the Schrader are gonna be more used on vehicles, things like that. And the Presta valves you'll find on some bicycles, mainly, uh, it's mainly a European style adapter. What's nice is that either side just screws right into the pump itself and then you can use the other end here to attach to the bike and likely what's easiest is to attach the hose to the bike first and then screw the pump into it. And here you can see the pump now installed on the bike. It's really simple. You're just going to use those water bottle mounts and the bolts that are included. Screw it right in. Everything's pretty standard. Also, what I like is that everything is very quickly accessible here. So here we have a Presta valve. You're just going to unscrew that little valve part. And then I'm going to take the red end and slide this over the top. And this will screw directly onto the valve. So that's nice and tight now. And you can see here, you can just take the bike pump now and screw it directly into the hose and start pumping. And when you're done, it's easy to just unscrew the pump and then the hose here.